Got a reflective triangles, first aid kit, and a charged fire extinguisher. Got the wheels. And we'll drain the wet tank. Grab our tools and we'll go ahead and open the hood. Go ahead and check the oil. Pull it out. Oil is full. All four belts are tight, no damage. Radiator is hot. I would check it for proper level and color before each trip. Hoses are secure, no damage. Our exhaust is secure, no damage. On the top, middle of our motor is no damage, no apparent leaks, no leaks on the ground. Our frame is no damage. All suspension components, no damage. Tie rod, no damage. The steering axle, no damage. Our airline to the brake chamber, secure, no damage. The brake chamber is secure. Our brake adjustment is half to three quarters of an inch. This is an automatic slack adjuster. I would not adjust it unless it was an emergency or I would take it to my mechanic. If it were a manual slack adjuster and out of adjustment, I would check the direction of the S-cam shaft by pushing on the slack adjuster. The top moves towards the front of the truck. Then I would use my 9 16 wrench and push in the lock collar and turn the adjustment nut until it is snug and confirm that the brakes are snug and then I would back off the adjustment nut approximately one-third of a turn to get my half to three-quarters of a turn of adjustment. And then I would confirm that the lock collar is in place. Our inner wheel seal is no damage. Our inner rim, no damage. No damage to the inner sidewall. With adequate tread, even wear, no nails or screws. Sidewall, no damage. No damage to the rim. All lug nuts visually secure, no rust streaks, and our wheel seal, no damage. I'm going to go to the other side of the truck and I'm going to bring my tools with me. All four belts are tight, no damage. Our governor is secure, our compressor is secure, the discharge line is secure, no damage. In the top, middle of the motor, it, no damage, no apparent leaks and no leaks on the ground. Our windshield washer is secure and, and enough for the trip. Our power steering is secure and full. All hoses are secure, no damage. The steering column, minimal play. Frame, no damage. Our steering box is secure. All steering components no damage. Steering axle, no damage. So all suspension components, no damage. Our airline to the brake chamber is secure, no damage. And the air chamber is secure. We have half to three quarters of an inch push rod travel. Wheel seal, no damage. The rim, no damage. The sidewall, no damage. Adequate tread depth, even wear, no nails or screws. Sidewall is no damage, rim no damage, all lug nuts visually secure, no rust streaks, and the wheel seal is no damage. Now I'm going to close the hood. My hood is closed and clamped. I'm going to put my oil rag away. I need my tool on the deck. Reminder to close the wet tank. Now we're going to get in and do the in-cap air and equipment. Uh, 
All ne our needles are up, so therefore the one-way check valves still work. Both war rows of warning devices work. Start the truck. We have enough fuel for the trip. Our oil pressure has risen, and our battery is charging. Our left mirrors, our left side glass, windshield, right side glass, and right mirrors are clear visibility, no damage, and adjusted. In the glove box, we have current registration and insurance and a pre trip book. Turn on our lights, we have all our dash lights work. Windshield wipers and washer works. We have our defrost works. Driver's door opens and closes. Our seatbelt latches and unlatches. The seat is secure and adjusted. Minimal play on the steering. Our hazards work. Our city horn works. Our air horn works. Both windows open and close. And we're gonna bring the RPM up. While we wait for the governor to cut out the compressor. Governor's cut out the compressor, 105 to 135 psi. And now that the governor's cut out the compressor, we'll release both brakes, and we'll fan down to 90 psi, and wait for the needles to start rising to show that the governor's cut out the compressor. Bring the RPM up a little. Needles are rising, therefore the governor is cutting the compressor. We'll fan down to 60 for the air, for the air warning. Low air warning device works, 60 psi or higher. And we're going to fan down for the dynamite trailer. Also applied. In some tractors, you'll need to release the release the tractor so you don't get a leak from the foot valve. All four slack adjusters and push rods form a 90 degree angle. Therefore, the trailer brakes have dynamited. As we walk up the trailer, you notice the red tape reminds us. We need to remove the supply line. We have no leaks from the trailer, no leaks from the supply line. The service line, we have no leaks from the trailer, no leaks from the service line. Now we're going to make a full brake application. I heard, I heard no leaks from the truck, therefore, our tractor protection valve works. Our service line o rings are clean and undamaged. Supply line o rings 
or clean it undamaged. And our electrical connection is secure. We're going to go back into the truck and check our compressor performance, 50 to 90 PSI. We'll start the truck up. Bring the idle up 1,000 to 1,200. Pick up our timer. We'll start timing at 50, highest needle at 50 PSI, and we're at 50. Timing. Stop timing when the lowest needle gets to 90. Lowest needle's at 90, we stop timing. One minute, eight seconds, well within the three minutes allowed. We'll put the timer down as a reminder to release the brakes. And while we're building, we'll do our high low beam test. High beam is on, the indicator works. High beams and both low beams work and none are damaged. We'll turn the headlights back off. Cut out the compressor 105 to 135 psi. We'll idle it back down and shut off the truck. Full brake application for one minute and start timing as soon as it's stabilized. We're stabilized and timing. We're at one minute, no more than a four psi loss, which is what we're allowed to have. Now we're going to put our left circuit signal on and get out to do our outside inspection. Our clearance lights work. Our plate is secure and valid. Our signal light works. The marker light works. Back to tractor 43. Our mirror is secure. The driver's door opens and closes properly. Our fuel cap is tight. I check it for damage every time I fuel up. Our marker and signal light works. If I was to check the battery, I would check for corrosion on the terminals, security of the cables, and for any leaks. Both steps are secure. The side of the tractor, no damage. The sleeper door is secure. You get the flashlight out. The jockey box is secure. I'll set our flashlight down for later. Frame, no damage. Our tank is no damage. And both fuel tank straps, no damage. My brake tool. Drive shaft one and two, no damage. Muffler is secure, no damage. Airlines, it's at both sides of the frame rail. They're secure, no damage. All four air tanks are secure, no damage. All airlines, tell that air tanks are secure, no damage. Both airbags are inflated. Differential is no damage. All four airlines, both brake chambers, are secure, no damage. Both brake chambers are secure. Pull back, check this. Push rod travel. Half to three quarters of an inch push rod travel on the passenger side. Half to, push, half to three quarters travel on the driver's side. Both inner wheel seals, no damage. 
Both inner rims, no damage, and both inner sidewalls, no damage. Our clearance light works. The front side of the trailer all the way down, no damage. The trailer is 73. Our reflective tape is in place all the way down. Our airlines and electrical are secure, no damage. Our deck and steps are secure. Our mud flap is secure. All four tires, adequate pressure. Of no daylight between the fifth wheel and the trailer. The release handle is in place. Fifth wheel slide lock is in place. Frame rail, no damage. Suspension hanger, no damage. Both airbags are inflated and the sway bars are secure. All four rims, no damage. All four sidewalls, no damage. No rocks or debris, both duals. Adequate tread depth, even wear. No nails or screws, all four tires. Both sidewalls, no damage. Both rims, no damage. All lug nuts, visually secure. No rust streaks. Both, both wheel seals, no damage. I picked up my flashlight. Mud flap is secure. No daylight between the fifth wheel and the trailer. The kingpin jaws are closed and locked. All airlines inside the frame rails are secure, no damage. Left turn signal works, and the right marker light works. Our license plate light works, the plate is secure. Both airbags are inflated. Drive shaft number three, no damage, is secure, no damage. Differential, no damage. All four airlines to both brake chambers is secure, no damage. Both air chambers are secure. Passenger side brake, half to three quarters of an inch push road travel. Driver's side is half to three quarters of an inch push rod travel. Both wheel seals, no damage. Both inner rims, no damage. And both inner sidewalls, no damage. Slide up and sit up. Look towards the back of the trailer. No damage to the trailer I beams all the way down. All landing gear supports are secure. Landing gear pads are flat and no, no debris. Landing gear handle is secure. Our signal and marker light work. The trailer slide airlines are secure, no damage. Inner frame rail, both sides, no damage. Both airbags are inflated. Shock is secure, no damage. Axle is secure, no damage. All four airlines to both brake chambers secure, no damage. Both brake chambers are secure. Driver side push rod, half to three quarters of an inch. Passenger side push rod, half to three quarters of an inch. Both inner wheel seals, no damage. Both inner rims, no damage. And both inner sidewalls, no damage. All four tires, adequate pressure. Trailer slide rail, no damage. Both slider pins are in place. And the slider lock is in place. Suspension hanger, no damage. Both duals, no rocks or debris. All four rims, no damage. All four sidewalls, no damage. Adequate tread depth, even wear. No nails or screws. All four tires. Both sidewalls, no damage. Both rims, no damage. Both wheel seals, no damage. All lug nuts, visually secure. No rough streak. Mud flap is secure. Air tank is secure. 
both airbags are inflated, the shock is secured, no damage, and the axle is secured, no damage. All four airlines to both brake chambers, secured, no damage. Both air chambers are secure. Driver's side push rod travels half to three quarters of an inch. Passenger side push rod travels half to three quarters of an inch. Both inner wheel seals, no damage. Both inner rims, no damage. And both inner sidewalls, no damage. Trailer floor I beams, no damage. ABS light is off. The marker light works. Our clearance lights work. Back of the trailer, no damage. The load is secure and our load bars are in place. signal works, and all our markers work. License plate light works, license plate is secure and valid, our bumper is secure. Could you check the brake, tractor trailer brake lights for me? Yes. We're going to do our tractor trailer brake light test. Step one, we're going to cancel the left signal. Step two, we'll do a slow 10 psi application. Step three, we're going to put our right signal on. Step four, we're going to apply the tractor trailer brakes. The tractor trailer brake lights work? Yes. How do you check your brake lights alone? With the hand valve. Okay. Our left marker lights work. And our right signal works. Side of the trailer, no damage, all the way down. The reflective tape is in place, all the way down. Our marker light works. Mud flap is secure. All four tires, adequate pressure. Our slider rail, no damage. Both slider pins are, are in place. The suspension hanger, no damage. No rocks or debris, both duals. All four rims, no damage. All four sidewalls, no damage. Adequate tread depth, even wear. No nails or screws, all four tires. Both sidewalls no damage, both rims no damage, both wheel seals no damage, all lug nuts visually secure, no rough streak. Signal and marker light work. The right signal on the tractor works and the left marker light on the tractor works. Mud flap is secure. The clearance light works. Inspection decal is valid. All four tires adequate pressure. No daylight between the trailer and the fifth wheel. The slide lock is in, in place. No damage to the frame. Both airbags are inflated. Suspension hanger is secure. The sway bars are secure. No rocks or debris, both duals. All four rims, no damage. All four sidewalls, no damage. Adequate tread depth, even wear, no nails, nails or screws, all four tires. Both sidewalls, no damage, both rims, no damage, both wheel seals, no damage, all lug nuts, visually secure, no rust streaks. 
Hot flap is secure. Deck and steps are secure. And our exhaust is secure, no damage. Speaker door is secure. Jockey box is secure. Frame, no damage. Fuel tanks, no damage. Both fuel tank straps are secure. Slide, side of the truck, no damage. Mirror is secure. Our inspection decal is valid. Passenger door opens. Both tractor trailer and spring brakes are applied. Passenger door closes properly. The fuel cap is tight. I'll check it. Check the seal for damage every time I fuel up. The signal light works. The steps are secure. The marker light works. Our right take turn signal works. I'm going to put the brake tool away and leave the door open as a reminder to take out my blocks and pick up my flashlight. Completed our pre-trip and finished our tug test. The examiners handed you the trip inspection report and we're now going to fill it out. They've already filled out your driver's license number. It's a pre-trip inspection. We're going to circle tractor. It's tractor 43. Our odometer reading 702449 at this time. It's kilometers. You detected no defects. And you're going to scan through and make sure you didn't miss anything. We'll go to the trailer. Trailer today is number 73. Same thing, we scan through, make sure we didn't miss anything. We have no remarks. Put our signature in. Our date. What is the date? It's a uh, 30th. And the time is 11.45 a.m. And we've completed our trip inspection report. We're going to hand it back to the examiner. <laughs> 